Hello, Central Illinois. Welcome to Football Friday, Week 7, and no doubt what's our game of the week. One of the most anticipated games of the year in the Middle Illini Conference. The big play offense against Dunlap, against that rugged Washington defense. Let's go to Dunlap for a showdown between two undefeated teams in the Middle Illini Conference. First place at stake tonight, and well, here's that rugged Washington defense. The pick six by Garrett Cox. Yeah, he did a little scouting. I think he saw that play coming. Cox scores the first touchdown of the game after a scoreless first quarter, 7-zip Washington. Then after a turnover, the Washington defense gets the ball back. Kana McQuarrie scores. It's 14-zip Washington on a pick six and a short TD drive, the defense setting him up. Now in the second half, look at the pass rush by Eli Pappas and Garrett Cox. As the quarterback's thrown, he throws it right to Noah Bell Lorenzen for the touchdown. 21-zip Washington on their second pick six of the evening. Dunlap does pick up a score here. Johnny Bargain to Gabe Munoz, who breaks one tackle and gets to the house to make it 21-7. But Washington puts it away. Keenan McQuarrie from 12 yards out, and McQuarrie with some nifty running. Cash Wishers blocking 12 yards down the field, and the Panthers are celebrating a win 28-7. We'll hear from the victorious Panthers later. Washington's win means they're now tied with Morton for first place. The Potters with the new hog decal. Remember they had the pumpkins earlier, the hog decal tonight, but they fell behind East Peoria. Raphael Jackson, the touchdown. East Peoria had the lead early, but here come the Potters. Jude Hart fakes to the tailback and takes to the house. Jude Hart with the touchdown right here. The Potters running that polecat, that Daffy Duck offense on the two-point conversion. They hand it off to Julian Alexander, who extends the ball over. It's 8-7 Potters, they take the lead, they'd never look back. Potters love this flanker screen. Jude Hart to Julian Alexander, the lineman. The Hogs get out there and do some great blocking. And Alexander's into the end zone again. We got a couple more highlights to show you. First of all, it's the defense. Zane Robber with the safety. Put your hands together on the ensuing kick. Maybe this is the highlight of the night. Shondon Buffington takes the ball from sideline to sideline. Cuts back there. Now watch him just get rid of these tacklers. Get off of me. You two, get off of me. Touchdown, Potters, they win it. They are 7-0. We head now to Metamora, where Jared Grebner's Redbirds hosting Limestone tonight. Nick Rhodes right here to Connor Bidney as he steps up, avoids the pressure, rolls out, and oh, there's the pass to Bidney. Well done by Nick Rhodes buying time until Bidney comes open for the touchdown. Stephen Petrie then on the two-point extra point for Metamora. Jadon Cran Cranford, so impressive last week with all the touchdown runs. Yeah, he's a special sophomore, and this is a special team's 65-yard punt return to the house for Cranford. Boy, is he fun to watch. He just runs pretty, doesn't he? But later, we're going to watch him run again. This one's a 54-yard touchdown. The linemen get the job up, up, done up front. Cranford goes untouched. They wouldn't have taken him down in touch football. 56-7, Metamora. We head to Pekin for homecoming week, and look who's the homecoming queen. Miley Hansen of Pekin. How about that? The kicker is the homecoming queen. Good night for Pekin. Ty Jackson right here with a touchdown for the Pekin Dragons. This game, seven zip at halftime, but Pekin gets going here in the second half. Actually, Jackson takes it down and sets up the touchdown by Isaac Thomas. Thomas gets to the house for a score right here. Then it's going to be Thomas again running behind the blocking of Blaine Thomas. And uh, this is a, a win Pekin really needed. Homecoming is going to feel a little bit better. Pekin wins at 22 7. We'll have a Jim Dandy from this game coming up later. We head to the Big 12 Conference right now where Peoria High and Bloomington both 4 and 2 entering tonight's game. One team will become playoff eligible. Here come the Lions racing on the field in Bloomington this evening. And boy, Peoria High brought the defense. Watch Dorsey Doss say hello to the quarterback. Oh, man, the big. QB sack. Tino Gist, that quarterback, is going to throw it right here to Jalen Rayford. And that's A.J. Roscoe, 324 pound Roscoe out there blocking. Great, he got two guys down. Way to go, Roscoe. Touchdown for Rayford. Then watch Tino to JV and Moore for the ridiculous catch. Those Peoria high wide receivers are fun to watch. Ready. Wow. High points at touchdown. Peoria high 52 to 12 winners. We head now to Peoria Notre Dame who needs a win to become guaranteed a playoff berth. They're at Champaign Centennial. Benjamin Mullins having a great year for the Irish off the wing tee. He's running right down Main Street for the big gain right here for Notre Dame. That's going to set up Philip Rupiper for the touchdown. Notre Dame got off to a very good start in this game. Rupiper on the wing tee and nobody knows where the ball is. It's in the end zone. Then it's going to be Liam O'Neill to Joaquin Heft for the pretty pass right here to set up another score by Jack Hanley. But Centennial wins the game. Peoria Notre Dame again has five wins. They're playoff eligible, but they want that six to guarantee it. We head to Peoria Stadium where Richwoods was taking on manual. This game was 0-0 at halftime when 
Well, it looked like Richards was going to fumble away a chance to take the lead. They fumble, but Zion Franklin, the big boy, is there to pick up the pigskin and touchdown. And away, Zion. Later on, fourth and 20, Joel Sturdivant to Mason Hawkins. And Haw nice job by Sturdivant to get away from the rush. And Mason Hawkins gets to the house. Richwoods wins it 21 zip. Normal community hosting Urbana tonight. Here come the undefeated Ironmen against the winless Urbana Tigers. I asked a couple weeks ago on Prep Rally, is the defense better or the offense better for normal community? Tonight they are both really good. Matthew Owens and Joshua Eisfeld are the tackle. Then Blake Potts, the safety, as the defense scores. Kyle Beatty right here is going to throw. They love this play right here. They fake the handoff. Then they throw the quick sprint, sprint screen to Marquand Gary. And Gary picks up good yards right here. I told you they like that play. They're going to run the same play again. And this time Gary's going to take it on the far end for a touchdown. And normal community, you see the final score, Route 66 tonight. And it's a route on Route 66. Normal West taking on Springfield. This game was 0-0 at halftime. But Normal West got the passing game going in the second half. Drew Mangrum right here to Maddox Lawson for the touchdown. Beautiful toss. Look at that by the sophomore to the wide open Lawson. Then he's looking for one of the best wide receivers in the state. He's looking for Gavin Camp. And Gavin Camp's going to take it to the house as well. Another pretty touchdown. West explodes for 35 second half points. Wins it 35-7.